Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour. We're jumping in again and this time we're going to do another run of the deleted craziness challenge, whatever the hell you want to call this thing. It's it's wacky, it's wonderful, um, and we had a good time with it last time. We unfortunately did brick our run, which I'm sure will happen again. It seems to be a pretty common occurrence. Ooh, hello, a planetarium right off the bat. Not that it matters, but it's a cool. Why not? Um, so we've already gained two items, which is good. We've got an Axe of item which does legitimately nothing, although it did give us Nurse Goblin by the looks of it, so pretty happy with that. That's that's a that's a pretty good addition. I don't know if it's Nurse Goblin or Bugger Tears. Um, I can't tell if it's got Herming or not. If it's got Herming, it's the Trinket version, which is weird because you think the item version would be better, but no, the Trinket version is significantly better. But yeah, having Nurse Goblin, pretty good. That's one addition that we've found out already, but... With this being the way that it is, I'm sure there'll be some randomness that we cannot predict. As for the uh, question of the day to day, um, what's what's like a, a a trend of the gaming industry, sort of, in terms of upgrading games like graphics or like whatever that you think really needs to change? For me, I definitely okay, it's definitely got herbing. For me, I definitely think like the next big thing that I'm hoping sort of gets a big revolution and like a big upgrade is um animations like it's kind of got to the point now and i think pretty much everyone has noticed that um graphics have kind of stagnated over the past sort of like basically since the release of i'd say like red dead redemption graphics really haven't come a major like they haven't come a long way like yes there's been improvements things are getting better but it's very incremental and quite slow um, so I don't really think it's that big of a deal anymore. And the thing is as well, I, I don't think, um, people really want or need the graphics to get much better than they've got so far. Like, obviously improvements are always nice, but, like, we're at the point now where it's so good that no one's, like, sort of waiting for the next big advance. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, people. We, we may have just won this challenge already, so it was nice knowing you. Um, <laughs> good stuff. Beautiful. <laughs> well, this was uh, interesting. But yeah, I think one thing that's still like really bottom of the barrel and has been for a little while. By the way, I'm still going to take items just because I've got this insane, basically run winning thing already. Doesn't mean I'm not going to just keep using, uh, keep taking items. I ain't no bitch. Um, but yeah, I think animations are, like, the next sort of thing that really could do with, like, a lot, a lot of work. Um, there's just, like, it's not like they're bad right now, but there's just, like, a lot of it is even, even on good games, even on games that are, like, really impressive, a lot of it is just so robotic, and, um, it could really, like, increase your immersion, like, a whole, whole load to just have, um animations that actually sort of fit and look good and i do think i uh, sort of started speaking about it in the last episode about the gta 6 trailer obviously we don't know how much of that is actually like in game or how much of that is just like gonna be uh, basically pre-rendered scenes but they all looked really good one thing that i said that i found really interesting oh that mushroom just instead of destroyed that's not how that's meant to work um, one thing I noticed that was, like, really impressive is the actual variety, visually, of, like, body types and the characters. Like, what one thing that's, that sort of you can say for GTA V or basically any of the other, um, any of the other, like, games at the moment is that, like, basically everyone just kind of looks like the same generic woman or the same generic man's body just with, like, a new head and face slaps on it. Um, so, I think, I think there could be, oh god, what have I done? Um, I think there could genuinely be, like, I, th I think I just accidentally removed, uh, what they called, the, um, babies there. Uh, the little spiders, I think I just removed them with their eraser. Um... Yeah, I, I think it could go a long way to just improving what games are like to have, like, 
variety of animations, but like I said, the body types well. It definitely seems like in GTA 6 they've they've solved that, or at least they've, they've worked on it heavily, because it, it seemed like the amount of variety of actual people and body types and stuff was was quite a quite a day, day and night difference from what we'd seen prior. Um, so that's that's obviously nice to see, but. There still needs to be improvements from other games. Like, I mean, GTA 6 can't really be the standard because GTA 6 has essentially, like, infinite money um, when it comes to making games. So, oh shit, we don't have a charge. How did this happen? Okay, so I do just throw a razors every now and again, which is quite nice. Oh, wait. My active item is no longer charging whatsoever. I wonder why that is. <laughs> That's quite, that's quite a bummer. My active item just doesn't charge anymore. Like I said though, this, this challenge is not about just getting the instant win if you get a really good item. That's, that's boring. You've got to still take the chan, uh, take the chances and take items that might screw your run. So far, I'm happy with what we've got going on right now. I'm firing rockets every now and again. Cool. I've got a lot of souls around me that are helping me out. That's nice, too. Don't know where this will lead to. I'm not, I've, I've not farted yet, which is something that I consider to be absolutely baffling on this challenge. Like, I, I, I genuinely can't believe it. Okay, I, I active item is charging now. I don't know why it wasn't before. Okay, that's a fart. That's a fart. I saw one. Okay, so... Weird. Sometimes it charges, sometimes it doesn't. There we go, baby. Okay, just keep it going. Not particularly liking this room. It's taking us way too long to complete. Okay, it seems to be shooting. If I shoot, then I lose charges. If I shoot after the room is complete, then I lose my charges. Like there, look, I gained a charge that time. I've just got to be careful about when I shoot. To be fair, I forget that you can just kind of walk through the doors as this big boy. Obviously, I need to make sure I get enough charges to reuse my active, but other than that, I can just kind of go. Cool. Boss time. Whatever you might be. Right, down we go. Yeah, there's been a fun run so far. I'm liking this. But yeah, I think I think that in in gaming in general, it would it would just be absolutely fantastic to see a, like a huge resurgence of like animation technology and um, and stuff like that. Just it just make games so much more realistic. It'd be it'd be really really cool. So I'm really hoping to see that in GTA 6. But I'm just hoping to see it like I said across the board in gaming in general. I think there's a it's it's sort of the next thing that like really could use a lot and a lot of work. Like I said as well, it's not even it's not even that the ones that we have now are bad. It's just that like everything else has come a long way. Everything else has gotten to the point of being like near realistic. Um graphics and that lot just look so much better now. And animations are still a little bit in the past. For not every game, but for a lot of games. It's not commonplace to have really good animations. And I, I realize it's because animations are bloody difficult. Like Unless you're mocapping, it's going to be really hard to get realistic animations. And even then, mocapping obviously costs money. Oh, no. We definitely don't want to trade this away. Down we go. There isn't, there isn't any way in hell I'm getting rid of this active item. You get Mega Mush on this challenge... You know you're in for a good one. Oh, we also got Womb XL, which is very nice. Good old Womb XL. 
Yeah, I got two charges there. Ooh, Magus will definitely keep in case uh, batteries become a problem. We know that we can full charge with an actual battery, so I think it makes a hell of a lot of sense to just do that. But yeah, I was like, oh, we'll just do this challenge next, and then we end up getting this run. Sound like virtual there. And then we get this run. Does anyone watch um, vir virtual, virtual, however you want to pronounce it? He's a Trekmania YouTuber that I've been watching for a while now, and just incredible content. Both on his first channel where he does like, he does like documentary style videos about Trackmania world records, but he also has like a second channel where he like actually is just good at the game, plays the game and stuff like that. And it, I, I I just find it fascinating. I mean, I've always, Trackmania has always been a game that I've enjoyed like ever since I was young. Like I remember playing uh, Trackmania Stadium back in like the 2000s. Um, I don't remember when that game came out, I'll be honest. Uh, but Back when it first came out, I remember playing that loads with friends and stuff. I used to play it with my dad quite a lot. Um, and so, like, finding a YouTuber that, like, goes over the, the world records and stuff for that game was, like, pretty awesome to see. Pretty awesome to see indeed. Uh, yeah, but basically, we do rooms until we have a full charge. Once we have a full charge, we then just start walking through doors. Once we're, once we're able to use this again... Then we just start going in and out of rooms, cheesing our way through. So we'd have to complete every room once we've got enough charges to do what we want. This is an Excel floor as well, so it's going to make more sense to just beeline through towards the boss, wherever the boss might be. God damn, this is an annoyingly long floor. Right, this is a pretty easy one to stomp them all out on. There you go, got a charge back. Right, where on earth is the boss? Because it's been a while. It's got to be down this way. We've been we've been walking forever. Okay, I think this is it. We're good. Nice. It's an active item. We can't take that. Easy. Up we go. Like I said, we've got Magus if we need it. I think we're pretty much set on this challenge now. There isn't much more items we can take at this point either, which is kind of a good thing. I like the way that my damage just says N-A-N-I-N-D. What the hell is that? My damage is not applicable. <laughs> Come on, Red Ghosts. You don't gotta be like this. Get more battery charges, that's good. We'll just pick those up and be on our way. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Yeah, I don't want an item from you anyways, it's fine. But yeah, health has barely been touched this run. I mean, <laughs> I was like, this is gonna be a really good episode, this. And then we're like 13 minutes in and we're basically done. <laughs> Ah, uh, god damn it, Isaac. This is the problem with doing YouTube videos sometimes. You'll you'll like plan for like a 45 minute episode and it'll be like, oh, your run's over in 10 minutes. Tough tough titties. Right, got you. There's perfection finally. Right, last floor. Don't think we're gonna have too many issues here, are we? We're onto the chest. We could gamble and take those, but I think at this point, we've taken enough risks. Oh, I took whatever that is, so that could ruin us. <laughs> I don't know what item that was. Okay. We've got more charges ready and waiting. Boom, we'll just pop it again straight away. Makes it easier. You know what would be nice if we had like quite a lot of speed ups, but at the minute we're sitting at pretty low speed for this whole thing. I like the way we have a sack dagger with us as well. It's like just in case we need that extra damage when we're walking into enemies. Funny. Right, this one's we can't actually walk through the doors. We do actually have to beat all the rooms, so. I'm trying, I'm trying. There we go. Boss time. 
Well, well, well. That wasn't that bad now, was it? Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't drive yourself into me, my guy. There you go, baby. Not too bad of a run there. Not too bad of a run. We did it. Okay. Why not just throw another challenge in here? Because I feel like we kind of should. Let's um let's do brains. Brains is kind of a, a an annoying one. Uh, but also a fun one. Um basically it's just all all of the um Bob's brains, which I quite like. Does make it a little harder that the start of the room you can't fire off Bob's brain straight away. Um, lost contact I don't think does anything for us, unfortunately. Cool item, but yeah, not that great. We need that item that doubles all your familiars so we have six Bob's brains. That would make things probably a lot easier. Good, good, good. Yeah, the only thing is, is just obviously the wait time of regening. All of these, uh, all these Bob's brains, especially on boss fights, if it doesn't kill them pretty much straight away, which it should, but it could lead to um, it being a little bit, little bit annoying. Oh, really? Do you have to live? You inconvenience me. Like this, this is annoying here. Having to wait for this and then wait for that. E extra soul heart though. Let's just wait a little bit here for our other two Bob's brains to regain themselves. And then we'll uh, hop into the boss fight. We might as well go in in a situation where you can basically just destroy the boss. Okay, I didn't realize there was a, a goddamn fly right there. That's an, oh, my boy. Play better. I'm, I'm not liking having these little flies about because they're going to eat, eat my Bob's brains. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Go away, little fly. Devastating. Very, very annoying. There's a lot of money. We'll check out the shop, I guess, and see if there's any uh, value in that for us, but I don't think there will be. What could we get that would be really, really good? Um, I guess jumper cables could be decent. What I was hoping for is pay-to-play. Pay-to-play would have been... Or pay-to-win, whatever it's called. Pay-to-win would have been just goddamn amazing for us. As long as we had money, we can just wreck every room. But yeah, we've, we've lost we've lost a good amount of health here that was pretty unnecessary to lose. That's a bit annoying. Got to put ourselves in a position to be able to... Uh, ooh, hello. This could be good. I'm going to need you to get a lot closer. Damn it, no, no, no. Oh, the, the spiders are going to kill this dude. Why? I wanted to destroy this pot. We'll hopefully get some more bombs and come back to that. We'll see. Oh my god. It's going to be frustrating. Right, boss time. Let's, let's just wait on our uh, recharge here. We don't get item rooms on this, do we? I don't think we do. Bats. That's the sort of beauty we want to see. Okay. Back we go. Yeah, you can't walk over this with uh, Stompy, unfortunately. Kind of expected that would be the case, but I had to try. Right. I like having all the spiders and flies, though. That is mighty helpful. Right. Take you out. And in here we've got Pandora's, but we've got Chaos, which is probably a pretty good grab right now, to be honest. I'll grab that as well. Probably shouldn't be destroying all these pots and creating extra enemies. But there you go. What's done is done. So that's actually fine. We our speed is pretty good, so I don't mind the speed down. Okay. Good to go. I like having the creep as well. The creep is super useful. Okay. This this is actually not bad. This is not bad. Still looking for more bombs. I think I need two well, one more bomb, and then we're good to go. Uh 
Okay. These aren't bombs. These are red hearts. These are bombs. Good, good. Listened. Oh, that's not really what I wanted, man. <laughs> I wanted an actual bomb, but... I guess this is as good as anything. That. That's very, very, very nice. <laughs> Daddy Longlegs is going to help a ton. Also, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very intrigued to see how Chaos works for us here, because it could end up being real good. It could also end up being real bad, because uh, it does mean that our boss items are no longer going to be health. Or, like, they're not guaranteed to be health anyways, but you know what I mean. Daddy Longlegs is always going to be great for us here, because it just means it's an additional way to deal damage when we don't have our, um... We don't have our Bob's brains available. Good, good, good. Probably shouldn't try and walk over the mushrooms there. It's a bad idea. Ow. Lovely stuff. Yeah, black heart. Good. The more red hearts we get, the better, because it'll turn our poop into the black poop, which... Makes it real good for us, because we instantly stomp on the poops. We always want to use those combat rooms, really, in case that happens. Like that, look, right there. Oh, come on now. It's very hard to hit these Bob's brains right now. Got him. Ooh, a crawl space. Wasn't expecting that. Quickly pop in here for HP. We did indeed get HP. Two spookies, okay. Not great. And here we've got Revenge Fly. We do have a D4 there, but I think I'm just going to go. I could just reroll this whole thing, but I think it'll keep my blindfold on, and I feel like that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> Right. So far, not too bad. Not too shabby. We have an okay run in our mitts here. Oh, did you see that dodge? Okay, I am I am happy with Smartfly. I'm not happy with the two damage I took off of this guy. Though that felt very unjustified. You get out of here, you. Black heart of that is very, very nice. Boss time. Goddamn, Daddy Longlegs is just an absolute winner for us right now. Yeah. Let Daddy Longlegs take care of this one. And in we go. That stun is, is very, very nice. Also, the extra money we're getting is good too. Oh, why would I stand so close there? That was stupid. It's okay though, we got a soul heart back. We must be close to leveling up our um, our poop into the black poop version. Can't remember how many red hearts it takes, but we should be close. Money-wise, things are looking very, very, very tasty. Good thing is as well, with Chaos, the shops are a lot more valuable potentially. Fire the Bob's brain, goddamn. Sometimes it just won't fire them. It's really annoying. Ah, you're gonna get in there, aren't you? Let's fire the Bob's brain, damn it. You, just, you can't spawn that close to him. That's not fair. Right. Keep on moving. Keep on grooving. I do like the fact that in challenges like this, you don't have to worry about looking for the item room. It just, it saves so much time. Ow. Like, that's that's the black poop situation we want every time right there. I think we can do this, right? Yeah, good. Oopsie. 
Make sure we bridge the gap correctly. Dude, pill both times. Come on now. Okay. Having extra bombs is nice. I really don't like the delay on Bob's brain to not be able to fire when he enters a room. On a normal run, very, very useful. On this challenge specifically, it's really annoying. Because, like, for a solid, like, five seconds when I enter a room, I just can't do anything. My goodness, I am really not doing well right now when it comes to not taking damage. That was good. That was also good. How did that miss? Come on, Bob. Bob's brain. I'm a mega explosion. I guess we can carry that. Daddy Longlegs is is really the star of the show. He's do, he's doing most of the work for us. Chill out, my guy. Celtic Cross is potentially pretty good. Hey, we got it, we got it. That's very good for us. Baron Fly isn't that great. But now we get a Black Poop every single room, guaranteed. And Black Poops have the chance to drop Black Hearts. So this is good stuff. It's going to save us a lot of time per room, I think. Good. Eh, you're going to be annoying, aren't you? Yep, really annoying. Ah, oh, you... I can't predict that. Daddy Longlegs, get over there and kill that bitch. Thank you. Taking way too long to get to business. Where, where are you going to pop up? i going to be very careful of my own explosions at this rate, because right now it's not, yeah, not ideal. What's going on with this then? Okay. Don't really know why that room existed the way that it did. Okay. I'm surprised not a single one of these black people has given us a black heart yet. We got one earlier on, now it's just like, nah. Don't fancy it. Oh my god. Strength card is probably better at this point. Oh, what? There was a fly there. No. Urn of Souls is interesting. I tell you what, Urn of Souls is quite interesting. Um... I don't know, though. I, it's tricky, because I think it is very good. But this black poop thing we've got going on right now is also real good. The gift card will do that. Dude, mask, fuck off. Right. Let's gift card this, and then just use it in here, straight away, and see what we get. We get a reflected succubus, which puts us on very, very low HP, but it's very good. We're going to have to be very cautious going forward here, but... I'm intrigued by this run. I'm basically not going to fire from now on at this point. That is exactly what I needed right there. Okay. Soul Heart puts us in the running for not dying. Two sucky buses, Daddy Long Legs. It's all good, man. Good stuff. Booster pack, what do you hold for us? Anything of use? Double bombs, Wheel of Fortune. More bombs. Stars card. I guess I'll set the stars card and just use it to see where it teleports us to. Mm 
one room ahead. Great. Yeah, very, very happy with my doubled succubus payout that I got from uh, that gamble. I think that worked pretty damn well for us. I think now the name of the game is try not to use my Bob's brains as much as humanly possible. And try and work it out from there. Also, bomb these whenever they're given the chance to try and get extra HP. Because I HP right now. Not good. Although I think we did just get a black heart from one of our uh, black poops, which is very, very nice. Seems like the chance to get them is very, very small. Which is understandable, to be honest. Okay. Just keep pushing through. It's been a fun episode, this. I, I, I like it, like, sometimes... It, it depends on, like, the day and depends on sort of what I've been doing. Sometimes I'll have, like, a topic in mind for an episode that'll just be, like... It'll just be so clear... And, like, so easy to talk about for a while. So, like, we were talking, obviously, earlier about GTA and the animation, things like that. Other times, it's like, I've got to kind of find it on the way. I feel like people... I don't, I, I don't know for sure. I mean, it'd be good if you guys just let me know. But I feel like people kind of like that there's a mix of both of those. In some episodes, where there's, there's, like, a specific topic that we talk about for the full episode. Or a portion of the episode. And then other ones, it's it's more so, like... Oh, god damn it. It's more so, like, free-flowing, and it's just kind of... There's random topics here and there, but there's a lot of Isaac discussion as well. I think people like a bit of... A bit of a mix between the two sort of thing. I hope, at least. Yeah, it's good, because the poop weakens them up enough for the um, succubuses to just kill them outright afterwards. It's a nice combo. A nice Huwamba combo. No soul heart in here. Uh, there's piercing, which is something, I guess, but I don't think we really need that. Okay, good. Uh, at this point, it's just avoiding the foot and chilling out for a bit until our Bob's brains come back. Where's Daddy Longlegs gone? He's just not, not bothering, is he? There you go. We got it. Hey. Extra hearts, good stuff. I will check in here just in case anything crazy. There is Tech X, but that doesn't actually do anything for us, unfortunately. Um, I've got a full card, so let's check in here in case there's anything really, really good. The Sausage. I don't think any of that really does anything for us, though. Sausage would give us HP, that's about it. Right. Go, go, go. How far do we have to go for this? Blue baby. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, annoyingly so, we have to go all the way to Blue Baby. Hey, there's another black heart. You see, it can happen. It's rare, but it can happen. Unfortunately, Stompy does not allow us to just walk out of the room by like as if it was being bombed. That'd be perfection itself if that was the case, but we're not so lucky. Okay. We can use our Bob's brains, it's just you've got to time it right. You can't just use it. Genuinely don't know how I made it through that alive, but we did, so hooray for me, I guess. Can Daddy Longlegs actually like do something? Is it is it procked and it like I haven't seen him do anything. Okay, there you go. He is he is doing something. He just seems to be on cooldown whenever I pay attention to him. Unfortunately, doing what the womb does best and confusing us into going the wrong way multiple times in a row. Oh, oh there was a black heart there. Haha, -ha, you see, you see? It's amazing. I think Chaos is, is the real the real winner of this run. We wouldn't have got double succubus if it wasn't for Chaos. We cannot understate how, how good Chaos can be in any given run, never mind a, a challenge run such as this. Okay. And j just the fact that succubuses just like have this aura that stacks on top of each other and deals damage is, is kind of insane. Um, I don't think that's going to work for us. I mean, technically, yeah, I might as well. Right. 
guy's going to be a little bit of a pain, I think. Unless we just bomb him into oblivion, then he's not a pain at all. Intruder's good here. It allows us to actually fire now. Um, I think tech point five would also allow us to fire. I'm going to try it just in case. Ah, it doesn't. God damn it. Bit of a risk there, I realise. But for one soul heart, I think it was kind of worth the, the gamble to see if it would work. Ooh. ooh, 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 yes, please. Got a lot of money. We've got not got a ton of use for. There's cancer. Not that we need it, but there it is. Okay, I think at this point we're probably done here. Right, let's grab Soul Heart. Where's the um, Hierophant card? There it is. Nope. Ah, god damn it! I can't grab it. Right, good, good. Grab that. Pool uh, spawns an item from the current item pool and converts one heart container or two soul hearts into a broken heart. What's this card that we've got here? Boon of the Magpie's Eye. What the hell is that? Upon using this card, um, upon using this, this card will become undroppable and cannot be swapped out. While holding the used card, all item rooms will be more options. Using again, that's kind of an interesting idea. Not that I need it, but I'll hold on to this for now, I think. Actually, to be fair, Lovers is kind of stupid because it's not going to give us the item pool we want. Um, Trinket-wise, is there anything else that's going to be better for us here? I think we just stick with this. Beautiful stuff. Ah, oh, that was a very bad hit, but my health is really good now, so I'm not all that fussed. And again, that's... Okay, second time... First time, more fool me. Second second time... I don't know what I'm saying right now. I tried to say something funny, or slash witty. My brain just died. The ox oxygen to my brain was like, Etna. <laughs> that sentence is not worth saying, sir. Do not continue. Do not pass go. Right. It seems like we've got this in the bag, right? Seems like we've got this in the bag. Can't say for sure, but this is feeling good. There's, like, literally, as long as we can stay alive, the Succubuses will, uh, and Daddy Longlegs, will do literally everything for us. Oh, there's a big boy here, I see. I wonder what was making that noise. Yeah, no need to be in here. Get me going. Step on that poop. Like I said, we've also got the chance of getting more black hearts from our poops later down the line, too. Now this, this is a bit fucked. I did, I didn't, I never. I do not appreciate that blood that was on the floor there. That was relatively horrible. Right, just dodge through all of this, and we're good. Not too bad, not too bad, and we will carry on straight to Cathedral. Ain't no way I'm checking out Hush, because this would be, that would be just a nightmare. Yeah, having an enemy that doesn't die until the rest of them die, a little annoying. <laughs> Go, my succubus. Ooh, hello, Tinted Rock. I very much like that. Two nickels, I think that was, but don't really care. Oh, that was horrible. That was absolutely evil. I'm not liking this at all. Why is this little disky thing still following me? That enemy's dead that throws it out. This little spinny thing here. Not okay. PhD is uh, certainly something. Good old Ranger. I was hoping for a HP up, but 
Let, right, at this point, let's start bombing these fires, because, um... I did get a soul heart there, good. Hey, I got another one, okay. This is why you got to min-max in some of these challenges, to make sure there isn't a few soul hearts lurking below the surface. Nice and easy for us at this point. Okay, another room that I'm just bombing out of. Not a chance I'm doing that. We've, we've come the wrong way so far, so not, not, not great for us, but... Oh, what the hell? I didn't see you at all. Goose. A library, sir. That's a, that's a pretty good library. <laughs> Sad bombs. Unicorn stump. Uh, unicorn stump's pretty good, but it would remove our ability to use our poops, which is not great. But it would give us protection. Um. Hmm. I think it's. I think it's worth it. You know. What else am I looking for here? It's going to blow up any second now. I've got no money left. Let's just gamble on one, one final bombing. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Um, and then I'll take this as a Hail Mary. But yeah, my thinking here is that I can just pop this and then still fire my Bob's brains. Which I can't. <laughs> Great. Okay, not as not as good as I was hoping it would be. I was hoping I'd still be able to fire my Bob's brains while in this mode. I cannot. But I still have good contact damage and stuff, so it's not it's not bad by any means. It's, it's safer. Maybe not as strong, but it's definitely safer. I'm not liking this whole ghosty boy situation though. Like, you need to go. Oh dude. I kind of forgot that Bob's brain adopts your bomb effects. That's wild. That is pretty wild. Yeah, it does. It does a. It does a pretty good job for us, I'd say. We got the frail fly dude, whatever he's called. We got smart fly around us too. It's all good, man. It's all good. Oh, of course, I hit myself with that. But that's gonna that's gonna absolutely wreck any boss we come across. Yeah. If we're able to kill this guy with it, then we're fine, yeah, we are. Smart fly, not smart fly, side fly should do a good job of helping us as well. I love the new patterns on this. Makes things a little more tricky when you don't know what to expect, but... We got there in the end. Right. Last vlog. Right, Glass, Glass D100 as well is in our pocket. Just a Hail Mary to gain more HP if things go really wrong. Right. Run into rooms. Use this. Die already. Good, good. Yeah, we enter rooms and we used to start with as a sort of opener to the room. To do a bit of damage, not a lot, but just to be safe until our Bob's brain's ready to use, essentially. Once our Bob's brain's ready to... Bob's brain is ready to use, then we can get on with the real work. Like, it's not a lot of damage, but it's, it's, it's fine. It's certainly fine. Not liking that. More bombs, please. I want to, want to have a lot of bomb fusing against the actual boss once we get there. Especially basic enemies. Bosses, it's not quite as good, but basic enemies were killing most of the rooms pretty easily with. In fact, I could just drop a bomb down while I'm in my invincibility mode. That'll 
That'll be a good way of doing things, to be honest. That was good, too. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm still iffy on it, but I think I stand by my decision. I think, I think this was a good idea. Okay. Still want to destroy the black poops for hearts if I can. How did that not hit you? This is definitely a room I want to use this in. I don't know what's going on in here, but don't like the look of it. Oh, for God's sake, I'll take that. Two hearts is probably worth it for a slight bit of speed down. I love the music that just breaks with this every time. Just does not know how to process. Okay, good. Unfortunately, we went the wrong way again. So we've mega gone the wrong way. Look at all this stupid rooms that we did for no reason. The chest is a cruel bitch sometimes. I mean, we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. Yeah. Hopefully not too many more rooms, but you never know. At least Daddy Longlegs is still there helping us out as well. Gotta give it to Big Daddy. Oh, he just lobs a ball of flies at us that turn into flies that we can use against him. That's kind of hilarious. Okay, this is a room that we use this in. I'm, I'm sort of understanding now which rooms we use the unicorn something and which we don't. Some rooms it's not super, super important to use. Like in this room, we, we, we definitely want to use it. I don't like you, big boy. Okay, we're good. Bomb this just to see if we get anything amazing. That's pretty amazing. Right, in we go. We'll use this to start out. I missed with my last one there. Luckily, we've got Celtic Cross as well, which is going to give us invincibility on occasion, which is rather nice. The only thing is, I have to stand so far away with my Bob's brains to not damage myself. It's a little bit risky sometimes. Okay, we're good. We did it. Okay, that was that was a fun episode. That was a fun episode. Two challenges down. Not too bad at all. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.